Do you know this miracle in American history? The Battle of Cowpens, January 17, 1781. It was depicted in the movie The Patriot. American General Daniel Morgan set a trap. He had a line of American militia line up in front of a river as the British dragoons charged, led by Colonel Tarleton, known as the Butcher, for killing 300 surrendering Americans at a previous Battle of Waxhaw. The American militia fired twice and hastily retreated around a hill. British Colonel Tarleton pursued only to be surprised by American Continental soldiers waiting behind them, firing at point-blank range, killing 110 British. The retreating American militia circled around the hill and attacked the British flank from the other side. 830 British dragoons threw down their arms and surrendered. The Battle of Cowpens is widely considered the tactical masterpiece and turning point of the war. When word came to British Lord Cornwallis, he leaned so hard on his sword it snapped in half. American General Daniel Morgan made a hasty retreat north toward Virginia, meeting up with American General Nathaniel Greene. Cornwallis furiously chased the Americans as fast as he could, leaving behind his heavy supply wagons along the way. Cornwallis came to the Catawba River just two hours after the Americans had crossed, but a sudden storm made the river rise and delayed the British pursuit. The British nearly overtook the Americans again at the Yadkin River, but again, rains flooded the river, slowing the British. Now it was a race to the Dan River. General Nathaniel Greene led the Americans across, but another flash flood blocked the British pursuit. British commander Henry Clinton wrote, Here, the Royal Army was again stopped by a sudden rise of the waters, which had only just fallen, almost miraculously, to let the enemy over, who could not else have eluded Lord Cornwallis's grasp, so close was he on their rear. Yale President Ezra Stiles wrote, May 8, 1783, Should we not ascribe to a supreme energy the wise generalship displayed by General Green, leaving the roving Cornwallis to pursue his helter-skelter, ill-fated march into Virginia? In March of 1781, General Washington had written to William Gordon. He said, we have abundant reasons to thank Providence for its many favorable interpositions in our behalf. It has at times been my only dependence for all other resources seem to have failed us. Well, now that Cornwallis had spent and left his heavy supply wagons behind, he had an army with no supplies. So he was ordered to wait at Yorktown for the British to bring supplies and reinforcements. And that is when the French showed up with their fleet, blocked the reinforcements, and Cornwallis was forced to surrender. Well, America has many instances of faith, and it is unique in world history. And it's important for us to remember these miracles in American history.